All right, guys. Well, I wanted to uh, post a video today, actually, and uh, recap my season um, fishing BFLs. And I actually had the video completely done, ready to post and everything, and um, had a little incident. Incident, I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of it, but um, I got into an accident with the boat um, yesterday fishing the fourth BFL of the season. Um, I locked up to pool nine and I was fishing up there when it happened. Um, I made a post on Facebook about it and a ton of people have been sharing the video. There's been some people now that have been um, writing articles about it, sharing it to different pages. It's kind of been uh, going crazy, but um, I guess the reason that I wanted to post it, I had the GoPro rolling, um, you know, it was hooked up to a portable charger which I do all the time when I'm fishing and I didn't take it down while I was running and, and it caught everything on video. Um, and I kind of thought about whether I should post it or not, but you know, I just, I wanted to share the experience and try to get it out there to as many people as possible because I feel like when, um, you know, you're fishing as much as what I do or what, what a lot of people do, um, you get a little bit complacent sometimes and you forget that um, stuff like this can definitely happen. Um, and if you're not paying it very close attention, then um, it's, it's pretty possible. I don't know if there's really much I could have done other than just taking a completely different route and avoided that area. Um, I was just kind of making, making decisions and, in the heat of the moment during the tournament and uh, decided to try to cut just a little bit of time off and run through an area that I've ran through a bunch of times, several times in my life. And unfortunately it, uh, it backfired on me. So I'll go ahead and play the clip if you haven't seen it already, or if you have, um, just kind of show you what I'm talking about and then uh, dive in a little bit deeper. So just to get a, a little bit more of a backstory on uh, what led up to this, I was actually fishing um, just upstream from this area and I kind of had to run down and uh, back up, up the river again. And uh, when I was making that run, I just made the decision that I was gonna take a little bit of a shallower channel um, just so that you know, I could save myself a little bit of time. I wouldn't have to go as far. Um, I wouldn't have to get out in the, the boat traffic if there was any, you know, just a bunch of stupid stuff like that. And like I said, I've, I've ran this channel many times. It's, it's a heavily traveled, uh, channel on that part of the river. And unfortunately with the wind blowing a little bit, I just never seen the log I was running. The next thing I know, I mean, the motor was gone. I obviously felt it uh, when we hit it and I, I tried to steer my way out of it. And one, once I turned around, I realized that the motor was completely gone. Um, it completely just sheared the motor off the back of the boat and, uh, it was no longer there. So, I mean, I, I seen we were both fine. Neither one of us got ejected from the boat. So the first thing that I was thinking about was just, you know, my motor's gone. What the hell? I just couldn't believe what just happened. And, um, kind of in shock a little bit. 
Um, just trying to stay calm and not freak out about it um, at the same time. But then it kind of started to hit me after that, just how lucky we were that nothing bad happened. And I, I started to think about all the things that could have went way worse in this situation. Um, there was another boat that was actually fishing close by that watched everything happen. So they came over to check on us. Um, big thanks to those guys. They actually ended up bringing my co-angler back and he brought our fish back to weigh in. And not that it was uh, really at the top of my pri priority list at the time, but um, him getting my fish back kept me in the hunt for the regional tournament, uh, making that regional and, you know, hopefully win a new boat and motor now at this point. But I... Uh, you know, I'm extremely lucky that I wasn't hurt and my co-angler wasn't hurt. That's the main thing. Um, it's definitely a hard lesson to learn. And, and really, no matter um, how good you think you are at running a boat, running on the river, something like this could happen to anyone. And really, the only thing that you can do to prepare for it is wear your life jackets when you're running and uh, have your kill switch hooked up because... You just never know when there's going to be a floating log, um, something that you're not going to see. And you could you could think it's never going to happen to you, but it definitely could. So um, I just wanted to, to put this out there um, in case anyone hasn't seen it. Just, you know, it's not that I want to broadcast my misfortunes to the whole world by any means, but um, I have a lot of people that, that follow me and... Uh, I, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the situation and what happened. And, you know, going from here, it's going to be a long road trying to get everything fixed back up again and uh, hopefully get a new motor. Uh, the motor that fell off the boat is still in the river right now, and I did find it using my 360 on the front of the boat, but it's going to be very difficult to pull it out and probably not worth it if um you know if we can't find someone that can do it for a reasonable price so that's kind of where that stands um and it's you know a little bit of a wait to get a new motor right now so we're gonna just kind of weigh out weigh out our options thankfully i have a ton of people that have been supporting me and uh reaching out letting me know that they're here to help me out and i got a couple people that have offered uh to run their boat so I think we'll make it through this year. It's going to cut my, my fishing time down a little bit for sure. But um, in the grand scheme of things, just happy to be all right. I'm happy that my co-angler is good and we can we can live to talk about it, learn from it, and hopefully move on and and uh, grow from it too. So well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, I was really hoping to bring you guys a good tournament video, hopefully winning this one. Um, but... There will be more in the future, and we'll get back on track and come back stronger. So stay tuned, and there will be more to come.